Yesterday, I had the unique privilege of playing in a golf tournament for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Golf Ministry. This ministry provides spiritual mentoring to the professional golf community. They also provide camps and training for young people all across the nation. They do a great job of using golf to teach kids about life and most importantly about God. This golf tournament was a fundraiser to help them to be able to provide these ministries year-round. The idea behind the tournament was to get people to commit to playing 100 holes of golf in one day. I'd signed up to help. I recruited people who would sponsor me. Many of them gave $50, $100, etc. toward helping the FCA reach its goal. Then yesterday came, and I had to play 100 holes of golf. I love golf, but 100 holes in one day is a lot of golf. We teed off at exactly 7 a.m. on a difficult golf course, the Ponte Vedra Inning Club Ocean Course. For 10 hours, nonstop, I played golf. We didn't even stop for lunch. They brought us a Chick-fil-A sandwich at 11.30, and we ate while we played. At exactly 5 p.m., I finished 100 holes. That's 10 hours of playing golf nonstop. As I reflected on this last night, here's what I learned. I'm still not in good shape. <laughs> I still love golf. When you play 100 holes, you don't have time to worry about bad shots, obstacles, sand bunkers. Just go hit the next shot. Time's wasted. Play the hole out. The score's not important. It's playing that's important. The goal is to get through it. We played so fast, I didn't have time to think about anything else. There was very little multitasking going on. You know, life is a whole lot similar. It moves fast. What happens yesterday is not nearly as important as what happens next. We don't have time to sit around and moan about our past mistakes. We can't be distracted by the occasional obstacles that come our way. We have to keep playing. There are new challenges in front of us. We may win and lose at various stops along the way, but the main thing is we have to live our lives to the glory of God and finish the task. Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 4, 7, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. I doubt Paul was referring to the ocean course when he said, I finished my course. Yet life is a course, and it's a long one. How are you living today? Are you lost in a maze of guilt and confusion? Are you focused on the moment ahead? Are you pressing to complete the task God has given you? Are you still in love with the game and the calling of God on your life? Or have you let the long day drag you down? Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 9, 26, Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. We are running a race, a course, that God has laid out for us. We need to finish the course with enthusiasm and determination. A heavenly prize awaits us. Here's the thought for today. Keep running the race. And here's the prayer to pray. God, help me not to get discouraged by the obstacles around me, but to focus on the prize before me.